Live from the Daytona International Speedway for Races Only TV presents Extreme Motorsports 99 Truck Series at the World Center of Speed. Chris Scallop here in the booth with you. We're about uh, three minutes or so before them gritting. we being joined tonight by owner and guy who's going to sit beside me here in the booth tonight, Rick Donathan. How you doing, Rick? I am doing good tonight, Chris. I hope everybody out there watching is having a great night tonight and excited about a good race here this evening. I think we're going to have a great show coming up here. It looks like we got about 27 car uh, trucks that are going to take the track here tonight. I know we won't have a full field. Why? Because, well, technically I'm signed up for this and I'm not in the field. So we won't have a full field, but uh, we're going to come pretty darn close to it. And that's not a bad start for a debut uh, race for you guys. Absolutely not, Chris. Uh, 27 has filled the field, and I tell you, if you look at the results up here, with the qualifying times well, that you and I were just talking about a few moments ago, about a tenth apart, all the way down to, uh, my goodness, all the way down to about 18th place. So I tell you what, these guys have brought their A game tonight, and they are here ready to race, Chris. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun. 52098 uh, will be the poll lap tonight by Craig White, as we'll uh, get you through the lineups here uh, very shortly. But uh, the 18th place car kevin carr was uh, a 52 196 so if you look at it, it's pretty much just shy of a tenth of a second uh, between the uh, top 19 uh, trucks or, or 18 trucks as they're starting to grid here so we'll uh, bring up the uh, room there actually one guy's going out to qualify apparently let's see who that have 42 uh, is going out on the track that's uh Jeffrey Creek. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Creek. Creek is out there on the track, yeah, and uh, he must have gotten in a little late here, but I tell you what, uh, that's a fast driver right there, Chris. Uh, he's won a couple of our practice sessions that we've had, and I tell you, he showed, uh, showed a lot of muscle out there on the track. Absolutely, yeah, he's been uh, fast. I've run one or two races myself here in the last couple of weeks, and uh, there was a lot of good, talented drivers out here, and they've uh, done a good job of respect each other. You've been doing hosted sessions, what, multiple times a night pretty much, what, the last two weeks? Absolutely, and I tell you, we've had a tremendous amount of folks uh, wanting to join up with the league. Uh, I think the total amount in our data system, online racing, our racing uh, league portal is close to 100 to 125 folks that have contacted me. Uh, not saying that always wanting to sign up, but they're wanting to get the information, see where we're at and what we're doing. And we only took 30 cars uh, for our first season here just so that way we can kind of iron things out. But, uh, Chris, I'm a given person. We did actually have about 31, 32 on the roster. Uh, just, dude, I, I knew the guys very well, and we just went ahead and got them in here. So uh, looking forward to tonight's race. It's going to be great. They're going to do 50 laps tonight, 125 miles. And y you know we had to make it special for the first night on the air, right? So uh, we had to put something on the line to these drivers. Let's talk about that a little bit. Absolutely, uh, and Chris, I just want to say thanks uh, for Racers Online, only TV, uh, you guys coming over and broadcasting for us tonight, and hey, I get to uh, stretch my legs a little bit here and up in the booth. It's been uh, it's been a year or so since I've been up in the booth, so it's, it's nice to be here. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, tonight, a driver will win $15 for winning this race. Thank you very much to uh, Daniel Eberhardt, who's a driver uh, in... Uh, extreme Motorsports, and also uh, $10 is going to go to a random driver. Talk about that part a little bit. That's uh, the interesting part. Absolutely. Tonight, like you say, we have a uh, $25 cash giveaway uh, that, thanks to Daniel Eberhardt. Uh, like you said, twin, uh, $15 goes out to the driver that wins the race tonight, and anybody that finishes the race, other than our, our leader of the race, uh, will receive $15 in cash or I racing credits. Uh, we'll pull that name out of the hat at the end of the race, and uh, one lucky driver will win that. That is going to be great. So uh, definitely uh, stick around. We're going to have some fun coming up for the 50 laps here at Daytona. Uh, make sure you check out ExtremeMotorsports99.com. What a fantastic website uh, that, uh, Rick, you set up yourself. Uh, obviously, you've showed uh, the jobs you can do on a website and another phenomenal website there. And, uh you could uh, get information about not only this series, but the Xfinity series that will start up next week on Tuesday and Thursdays. Yes, uh, Xfinity, we had our first race last night, Chris. Uh, we had about 24 guys that showed up last night. Uh, we had a few cautions, but it wasn't cautions because of uh, just driver error. It was cautions due to the fact that the, the competition is so tough, uh, the times are so close, uh, and everybody just had a wonderful time last night. 
Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun racing, and we'll uh, try to get some of those Xfinity races here on For Racers Only TV in the near future. But uh, tonight it's all about the trunks, and they're gritting. So let's luck, uh, go through the uh, starting lineups for tonight's race. Uh, Craig White, as I mentioned, on the pole tonight, 52.098 seconds. Outside of him will be Matthew Welsenbach in the 29. Brad Slaughter Jr. going to start third alongside him. Mike Costa, uh, Tom McAllister going to be the uh, fifth place starter. Go ahead, uh, Rick. Uh, sixth place, showing Jeffrey Creek. William Long starting seventh here tonight. Eighth place belongs to Nicholas Orth. Carl Brown starting ninth, and Kevin Ford is the is your top ten there. Uh, William or Wallace Boyce, I should say, going to start eleventh. Brian Coveney going to start twelfth. Nathan Shiplett thirteenth. Douglas Hess and AJ Scarborough your top fifteen. Starting 16th, Zachary Kreiser. 17th place belongs to Eric Lambert. 18th belonging to Chuck Scala. And 19th, Kevin Carr. And to finish out that 20th top spot there, Nate Trito. Uh, Justin Walters, 21st. Darren Sizemore, 22nd. Willie Blacker, 23rd. Charles Lemaire, 24th. Carter Lawson, 25th. And you can get the uh, rest of the 29. 26 belongs to Jonathan Shipman. William Amaker starting 27th. Brent Sturgeon, 28th, and it uh, looks like Doug is, it looks like, I looked down there to, at the end of the track there, uh, 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 Chris, and I, I believe I saw Doug trying to get out of the garage down there. He may be having a little bit of difficulty, <laughs> but doesn't look like he uh, he's actually got on the track yet, so he'll probably take a EOL. Yeah, Doug uh, got stuck in traffic there off of uh, I-95 getting on to uh, US-92 there, which is the road that uh, gets you into the Daytona Air National Speedway, so hopefully he was able to get uh, to the track on time, but uh We'll see what happens here, but the car, trucks are about to roll off, and um, yeah, I got a crazy idea here. I'm going to try. Let's uh, let's try to speak with the pole sitter real quick, as they're under caution here, and uh, get his thoughts as he uh, is the first ever pole sitter here in the uh, truck series. Thank you. That sounds great. And I tell you, what, let me uh, see if I can track him down. Actually, uh, actually, I'm just looking. I can't talk to him because go. I got to get admin status real quick. So, Rick, if you want to make me an admin, so I can talk to him. All right. There you go, Chris. I got Craig in the room here. Craig White, you got a cop. Hey, man, how are you? Craig, you're doing great, man. Uh, great start to tonight. First ever pole sitter here at Extreme Motorsports in the Truck Series. Uh, talk about your thoughts tonight. Uh, straight ahead. The uh, setup feels really, really good. And as long as they keep the car clean or a truck clean, I think we'll, everything's going to be fine. All right, my friend. Well, hey, good luck, and uh, we'll see you in maybe 50 laps in victory lane. All right, then. You guys, uh, hopefully we talk to you at the end. Absolutely. Craig, got a question for you. Any uh, any last thoughts there you want to say out to the viewers? you got a lot of people watching. Uh, get your popcorn now, fellas. <laughs> Give me a wild one. There you go. You heard it straight from Craig White. Get your popcorn ready. We're ready to rock and roll, Chris. As I mentioned, 50 laps, 125 miles. It is uh, going to be a fun one. you got 29 trucks, it looks like, that are going to grid and take the green flag here and sit back, enjoy history tonight. Extreme Motorsports on For Racers Only TV. Race number one is green. Looks like Craig, uh, Craig White's going to get out front up there. Looks like he's got the upper edge of as they're going down the front straightaway there before they get into turn one. Yeah, we're going to see how uh, important this uh, tandem or grab is going to be here as they go into turn one. Craig White being pushed by Brian Slaughter. And you see the 29 to 6, Weltzenbach and Costa. They're trying to tandem up on that outside, but you can see already single file as uh, that inside row starts to form. Absolutely. Jeffrey Creek, that 42 there. Uh, can't quite read the number of the, the truck he's riding behind there, but uh, looking pretty good out there is the number 12. I believe that's going to be the number 12. The number 12. I'm still learning. That's way along. Yeah, now I guess we're going to be learning <laughs> names tonight as we're not totally used to these drivers yet. But you can mark this one in the history books. The first lap led at Extreme Motorsports in the Truck Series. Craig White will get it as it's green. That's good news. That is good news. I tell you, everybody looks like they're taking their time out there, uh, trying to get set up with their partners, trying to have a dance partner out there, shall I say, and uh, that make that way they've got someone to work with out there in the draft. Now, one thing we will share tonight: 75% fuel, normal fuel tank here, about uh, roughly 40 to 
44 laps or so. That's going to be cutting about a third. You'll see maybe 30 laps, 25 to 30 laps tonight out of these uh, trucks. So that will definitely play a role when we will have a green flag. Hopefully a green flag picks up. Absolutely. I tell you, everything's looking real good out here. These guys are showing quite a bit of patience out here on the track. As I'm just kind of viewing through the field here, everybody's kind of got spread out. They know that uh, they're in for a long run here. we got a 50-lap shootout, and uh, these guys want to make sure that they're set up uh, ready to cross that start and finish line first tonight on lap number 50. In order to finish, or in order to finish first, you got to first finish, as they say. And uh, right now, Craig White is that guy. He's holding that uh, Wrangler Chevrolet right there in the bottom lane. Uh, he's got Brad Slaughter on his tail. Weltzenbach trying to get that outside line going with the six of uh, Mike Costa. You got Creek right there, the 28 of Tom McAllister. That is your top six back here. You got the 12 of uh, William Long. You got the uh, 27, Nicholas Orr, Carl Brown. Single file almost back to about the 15th or 20th position. Yes, taking a look back here, watching the number nine of, uh, I believe that's going to be uh, the number nine of Eric Lambert. Uh, looks like he's trying to get a little bit of help there from the, uh, looks like the number five of uh, A.J. Scarborough. He's trying to get up there on the back door of him. Uh, just kind of a little spread out there. If those guys are not careful, they'll lose out on that draft. Yeah, you got to be careful. you got to get a single file quick. So if you're back here where Jonathan Shipman is, you need to be uh, organizing those guys up and say, hey, man, we need to get in line because, you know, running side by side, you see Trito, as you mentioned, is in here. Uh, back here to 77. Those guys need to get single file now or else they will lose the pack really quickly. You see one truck has lost a draft, and that's the 88 of uh, Willie Blacker. 88 of Willie Blacker. Uh, I tell you, he's had a little bit of struggles, uh, but I tell you, he showed uh, showed some uh, strong momentum last night in the Xfinity Series. Had a few problems, got into the wall a couple times, but uh, I tell you what, he's a new guy here. He's learning, and he's learning fast. And they're three wide back here in this uh, backpack. Look back here where Shipman is. Uh, I was talking about getting single file, not three wide. It's, this is not the right wow. way to be doing things. The 55 is back there. Carter Lawson, Justin Walters. Hopefully they'll get that sorted out, but uh, not the right time to go three wide right now as you are losing uh, the front pack there. No, I tell you what, uh, those guys seem like they got it worked out there, and I'm sure that uh, you can see uh, from up here in the booth, we're looking down, we can see the knuckles just turning white holding that steering wheel as they were going three wide there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, what are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> Too early in the game. <laughs> Too early. But uh, you see the 51 truck, Zach Chrysler, he's starting to look outside, uh, trying to form a line. And uh, i tell you what, for the new viewers, uh, if, they're, uh, if you're a regular viewer on Ferocious Only TV, Rick, they know what uh, I like to do on these restrictor play tracks. Normally I do it on restarts only, but we're on a restrictor play track, and I really like to do this. So here's what I'm going to do, Rick. I'm going to shut up for a second, and we're going to do what we call wide open. So sit back, turn your volume up, and we're going to let the trucks rip here for a minute. mention that's my favorite part of the race I tell you what there's nothing like it just to sit back and hear the roar of those engines it is just awesome so uh, but that's uh, one of the cool features we get here on Ferocious Only TV it didn't happen at all the tracks but a good portion of them now we did see one truck out of line trying to go for the lead but uh, again that inside line just forming and a lot of people call this boring what they're doing uh, being down the bottom running single file I call it smart because in order to get to the finish you got to do this well, I tell you, Chris, if anybody uh, has got on iRacing and done a little bit of racing here at Daytona or at Talladega, some of these super speedway tracks, the key to winning the race is being patient. Sitting back, riding the laps out, 
and uh, slowly making those moves and trying to get yourself set up for those last five laps that come down uh, to start making those real hardcore moves. And looks like we might have our first lead change on the outside to 51 of Nathan Shiplet being pushed by the 21 of uh, Brian Cubney. And look, you see that inside line right away. The 33 of Slaughter's like, ah, let me push Craig out there a little bit more. And uh, they are going to be able to settle in third and fourth, but almost a lead change there already. Eight laps in, 42 laps to go here in Daytona. Well, I'll tell you what, one of the trucks out there to watch out for that showed a lot of strong muscle this uh, the last few weeks that we have been having some hosted servers is that number 33, Brad Slaughter. That is definitely an eye that you, uh, truck that you need to keep an eye on there. And it looks like he is doing exactly what we were just talking about a few minutes there, Chris. He is not trying to get around Crick. He is just sitting there and just riding. Well, I'll tell you what, not only just riding, he's doing a great job there. We got a lead change, first one of the night, the 27, Nicholas Orth. Gonna go to the lead, that outside line is starting to form, Rick. And they're starting to move as one takes the lead. Our first lead change, if he can get back to the start finish line, he's being pushed there by the 41 truck of Carl Brown. Yes, those guys right there, you're going to see them working together with each other uh, tonight, and uh, they are definitely teammates. They uh, they are attached at the heel, Chris. Wherever you see one of them go, you'll see the other. And that's what you need sometimes out here. If you need those good teammates and good partners, that will help you survive a race like this. I mean, I've had plenty of races in the past where I've gone out there and I've had teammates and then plenty of races where it's like, uh, anybody want to work with me? And then I call on some guy named Rick Donathan <laughs> and he's helping me. <laughs> That's right. You know, Chris, we had a great race that night and we've <laughs> got to share that story with our with our viewers out there. Uh, I was completely out of contingent as far as any type of championship. And Chris, you were in second place to win the uh, championship? Second or third in the points and uh, basically I had no one to run with when it came to a partner. We were at Daytona and and Rick's like, Chris, I'm going to stick to your bumper and push you the whole way. I'm like, okay. I believe I said, Chris, I'm going to stick to your bumper and I'm going to push you across the start and finish line. And, you and it's going to be on the last lap. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the outside line. Here comes the 51 of Chrysler. I think this time he's going to get it. That outside line is really starting to move. If you get enough trucks up there, it'll start coming. I'll tell you what, uh, iRacing has done a phenomenal job with uh, being able to work with both lines, the high line or the low line. And, and I'm going to be honest, Chris, I prefer the high line because when you come out of those corners and if you get a good run and you get close enough to that truck on the inside, you can pick up not only that good run, but the side draft itself will shoot you straight to the front. Absolutely, and you get that inside line checked up. You see Orth run board right now with Chrysler. Uh, you look to the left, you see Orth getting that lead back, the 41 right there stuck to his bumper. So Orth going to have to try to regroup himself here. That's right, and I'm taking a look here at the uh, the number 29 of Matthew Wasenbach. Looks like he's working pretty hard uh, with the 51 of Zachary Kreiser. Now, I'm not quite sure who all the teams that are formed tonight, but uh, I do know those guys are buddies, buddies as well. And uh, again, we've got Nick Orth and Carl Brown working with each other over there, and it looks like Matt Wasenbach and uh, I believe that's going to be Zach Kreiser. Those guys may be working with each other tonight, so they may have already formed their little pack tonight. And it's a good opportunity tonight to get out there, and if you haven't formed a team or anything like that, get to know some of these drivers, and all of a sudden, bam, they're right there on your team. Absolutely, absolutely. And I tell you, another car I want to mention is uh, the number 32, Kevin Ford. Started eighth, and he's already got himself, uh, actually, he started 10th, and, well, it's showing him to be ninth place right now. And I want to make sure it looks like he's running about fifth place. He's about the sixth car inside line, or truck, I should say. One of these days I'll figure out which vehicle is which. Um, but, uh, well, it looked like he was running up front. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, it was, you look at you got a, a front part of the draft here that's consistent of a good 20 to 22 trucks probably in this line. And all of them with a shot to win. you got a second pack, and then you got a couple of trucks who have lost the draft. Unfortunately, uh, Doug Blackman uh, looks like he's lost the draft a little bit. William Ambaker has lost the draft. Uh, Willie Blacker. Uh, just a couple of people out of the draft, but there's uh, still a bit 20 strong here in the pack. Looking back up here at the front, the 21 of Brian Coveney. It looks like he lost the draft up there. Was running up front, got stuck on that outside, had no help. And that's going to put him back there to about ninth position. So he lost uh, probably about four positions there. Uh, and that just goes to show you there, if you don't have a teammate or what we call in racing a dance partner here at Daytona or some of these super speedway tracks, you're going to lose a lot of track uh, position if you don't find a partner and find one quick. 
Tell you what, the 0 3 made a move there on the outside. That's Kevin Carr, a little early, but he's able to dive it back in line, not lose any positions. But that springs the 3, the pole sitter of uh, Craig White. He's trying to make a move back on the outside. He's got the 33 attached to him there in that Bass Cracker, uh, Bass Cracker, Bass Tracker Pro <laughs> Shops. So I'm put your work together. That's right, Brad Slaughter. It looks like Brad Slaughter may be teaming up with Craig tonight, and uh, it seems like they are making it work right now on the track. These guys are getting it done here, making that high line work. They may end up catching and taking the lead right here, and it looks like he's going to clear him. He's down in turn one, and Craig White's in the lead with the help of Brad Slaughter. Second lead change, uh, make that third lead change of the evening. Craig White back to the front, the pole sitter showing that muscle. Oh, it's not like we haven't seen a Wrangler number three in the front to Daytona before, so... Tell you what, Chris, it's always good to see the Wrangler number three running up front. Won't hear any complaints there. And you see the 51 jumping back out of the line with the 29. That Chrysler and Matthew Wazenbuck still trying to work together, but it looks like the 97 has got up there with the uh, the 21 of Brian Covethy. And uh, let's see, who is that 97? That would be I Darren that Sizemore. <laughs> it's uh, the 97 Sizemore. He is uh, doing a great job so far. And he is a running up there. You see the pack spread out, but you know what? Some patient. You haven't seen really any of that close racing uh, that you see towards the end of the race. You haven't seen that early, and that's a good thing. Everybody's been kind of cautiously aggressive out here and uh, yes. respecting each other. Lots of patience being shown on the track right now, and I tell you, it's always uh, it's nice to see when you got this many cars out on the field at uh, a super speedway track. We're 16 laps into this, Chris, and we ain't seen a caution flag fly yet. We do know these guys, they have this race in their mind. They are thinking this thing out, taking their time, being patient, making sure they've got the right partner to dance with for those last few laps. Fans, if you want to be uh, get some information about Extreme Motorsports, ExtremeMotorsports99.com. Uh, make sure you do check out their website, and uh, who knows, you can be a part of this uh, league down the road. As you see, uh, the 51 of Chrysler going back out to the front with help from Covney. And that 21, they're trying to clear the three. Uh, but one thing I do want to say on the side, Rick, uh, I want to give you a shout-out because, as you know, uh, as, as some of the league members know, um, I run United Sim Racing Championship. And, uh, of course, we're teaming up with our other partners at Sim Racing Authority. We're putting on an old, new-school Daytona 500. And the graphics that you have done, which you've seen uh, earlier on the warm-up screen and stuff like that, um, was all done by you. And uh, I want to say a big thank you to you for helping us put that together. And I know we got a lot of other projects we're working on. And, uh, again, I just want to take this opportunity in front of our viewers and, and those who are going to be a part of the race, which some of your league members are signed up to, uh, to say thank you. Absolutely, Chris. And you know what? Thank you uh, just for the partnership that we've got here. Uh, working together and uh, going to make a lot of great things uh, in the future. Tonight is just the start and uh, many great things to uh, to look forward to in the future. And, and I just, I'm looking so forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun here. As you see the 33 going to the front. How about Brad Slaughter with help from Sizemore? And I tell you what, one factor that's going to come into play here, they are coming up on a lap truck here on the back straightaway, the 88 of Willie Blacker. Let's see if he can get to that outside and just stay up there. I'm sure they're communicating with him saying, drivers stay high. Uh, but you get back to that mid-pack, and that's what's going to get nervous here because you're going to go three wide unless he can get attached uh, to this pack real quickly. So uh, this ought to be a, a very interesting situation here. Uh, look right now, it looks like Brack is having communication. Looks down in the pits, they're communicating with uh, Willie uh, Blacker uh, uh, out on the track, letting him know, stay high up on the track, stay out of the way. They got a lot of fast cars coming around, and, and Willie's doing a good job uh, keeping that car up high and trying to stay out of everybody's way, but it looks like we're going to end up opening it up three wide back there. You know what, though? Look how smooth it's going so far. If he can get it out of the wall, that's the hardest thing to do is keep it out of that wall. Oh, Absolutely. there's contact. Oh, 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 oh. Got a little bit of contact. We're okay. Yep. Got Everybody a saved it. Got, that's a good job there by number 12. Uh, let's see. Who is that number 12? Number 12, William Willie Long. Long. William Long. William Long. He did a good job driving there. And uh, I tell you, really, it may have just got out from under him a little bit there. A little bit of wind speed there. It may have caused that truck to get a little upset. But, uh, hey, we're all good and we're on our way. Uh, we're coming up on lap number 20. Yeah, we are already. Uh we're just shy of halfway already as the 33 continues to lead Brad Slaughter. He's got Sizemore there in second. You see the 51 starting to rev up that outside again with the uh, 21 of company on his tail. You see the three, Craig White hanging right there in fifth. Let's see who else we got any newcomers up here. Here comes the 41, the 03 is up here. Uh, the typical guys who have been up here the whole time, they are here. Uh, you see Orr right what? there. 
a little bit worried about the the three car Craig White it looks like he does not have a partner and he's got a couple trucks coming up on his back door those guys have got partners and uh, it looks like Brad and the 97 of Darren Sizemore have kind of teamed up now and uh, want to just take it away I I don't know don't know what Craig's gonna do but I'll tell you what I think he's got something under the hood there for those guys yeah, this is, uh, again, restrictor plate racing, anybody can win. If I can win a race or have an opportunity to win a race, anyone can win in a restrictor plate race, <laughs> period. Well, I, I tell you what, winning a race is one thing, but uh, winning a race with guys like this out on the track, it takes a lot of patience. It yeah. really does. Yeah, I tell you what, and, and we should mention, we're not going to be broadcasting all the truck races. Uh, we're only going to do a portion as part of our deal. Uh, so in the races that are not broadcasted, I'm going to be out here with these guys on the track Wednesday nights, and I tell you what, I'm like, oh, man, I'm about to bring my A game next week to Atlanta for race number two to get uh, on the track with these guys. Almost some contact there. The 21 <laughs> of uh, Gumby almost, uh, he cut down on the 51 there as we're going to see a lead change and almost got together in the lead two. That could have been huge. Oh, yeah, definitely could have been huge there. And uh, I tell you, it looks like uh, Brian Coney is going to lead that lap there. Uh, with Brad Slaughter right on his back door. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to uh, Darren Sizemore. Darren Sizemore is still, uh, he's still right there on the back door. They're opening up on the outside, coming out of turn two. Brad's going to try to take it back away from Coveney. Looks like the 97 of Sizemore still working with Brad there. They're going to get him almost cleared, but it looks like Craig White is now working with Coveney. That's a uh, well, tight squeeze, but you know what? That's the kind of pass. If you have somebody who could push you right there in third. If you're second, and he's third, good call Andy on a text message. They caught your text message. Um, that um, <laughs> That's the perfect way to pass because in that first place, guys, got to fall back. And we got pit stops here. Let the pit stops begin. Carl Brown, Watsonbach, Orth, and Trato all coming to pit road. Lap number 22. Yes, tell you what, you're going to start seeing some, uh, it looks like we're going to be seeing some green flag pit stops. And I tell you what, that's going to change the play of all, everything across the board now going to change the whole game plan so uh now everything the cards have just been thrown in the air and uh we're going to see what happens how this plays out smart move here get right to the point where you can make it on fuel get in there get to get your tires and fuel and there they go off pit road there goes those four let's see uh who else from this lead pack if they come out of turn or into turn three and four right now let's see where they end up Brad Slaughter still up running up front there with the help of uh, the 97 of, of Darren Sizemore. But I tell you, Craig White has not let up at all, and he's got the number 32 of Kevin Ford right on his back door there. And I believe you're going to see those guys, they're going to hook up. They're going to team made up, and you're going to start seeing those guys start running up front. The drink machines are on pit road. The Coors Light number 5, A.J. Scarborough. The Gatorade number 31 of Douglas Hess. Don't mix those two together. Uh, but they're on pit road right now, and they're going to get <laughs> – uh, looks like two tires on the right. So let's see if they go forward. Up, oh, gonna be two tires, and they're gone. Wow! I tell you what, taking two tires. Now I will say, uh, Chris, if I was in this race, I wouldn't have took any tires. I would have just let it fly, splash the gas, get the gas with the can filled up, and shoot out. Um, I, I don't know. The, the tire wear here seems to be just fine. Uh, especially for a 50-lap event here. And uh, I think those guys would have done just fine just leaving the tires that they've got. But, hey, who knows? I don't know. They may plan on uh, putting these things on rails or something. They're going to need the extra rubber. I don't know. I've always been a guy that gets left sides. When uh, that first stop in the race, now 25 laps in, maybe fuel only. But you get on a full fuel run here. I'm, my first thought is run left side tires. You know why? Less travel to the left side of the car to get those tires changed, get that tank fuel, you're gone. Tell you what, taking a look up on the high side, it looks like Chuck Scala. I believe you know him, Chris. Getting a little <laughs> help from Jonathan Shipman Possibly on the outside. We. Trying to make that line run on the outside. i tell you what, let's see if they get the run here coming out of turn. They're going into turn three, getting ready to come out of turn four. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get the run there. Yeah, I was going to say, if Pops leads this lap, I might not hear for it for a week. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, Jonathan Shipman is definitely somebody you would love to have as a teammate. He has showed some muscle here at ExtremeMotorsports99.com. Uh, I told you, like I said a little earlier, we ran a race at Dover, and I tell you, you put that truck on rails. But I tell you, it's getting tight down here in turn one. Those guys head-to-head -head banging the side-by-side the -side there. Uh, but it just seems like those guys can't get the run coming off of turn two. Yeah, you get that 97 of uh, Sizemore in the back bumper to 33. 
they're just able to push ahead, and that inside line is always the fastest line. Hey, what, Chris, one of the things, uh, key factors that a lot of the drivers started noticing in some of the practice races is that uh, a lot of them were actually just putting that bumper to the back bumper of the truck. They were doing their drafting and just doing nothing but pushing, pushing, pushing without any warning. Boom, they blew the motor. And uh, I hope we don't see any of that out here today, but these guys know that they've got to be careful with that because uh, some of the warnings are not working in the instrument clusters. More pit stops happening. Justin Walters, Carter Lawson, Eric Lambert, William Long all on pit road. Craig White still, uh, still without a dance partner, but he's still making it work back there in fifth position. Not losing too much ground, but starting to look like he may be losing a car length or two. Yeah, just updating on pit road here. I see uh, all fuel only, as you mentioned. All fuel only for those uh, trucks. So. They're going off the uh, Rick Donovan strategy there, as you mentioned. <laughs> well, I tell you, I, I, I hope nobody takes the strategy that I, that I use. Oh, here come more. Definitely don't. There, yep, there comes more. Oh, Pops is in the wall hard. Just got to lock the brakes up, and he hit the infield wall in a ton. No caution. He's on the pit road, though, but he is going to be done when it comes to that nose. That is the one thing I, I can tell you from watching him is one of his hardest things he's had to oh. learn on pit road is – going into the pit road because he seems to always get those brakes <laughs> locked up or just uh, locks it up, gets wheel lock, and tough break there for the 15. Tough break, and I tell you, that's uh, there's nothing like seeing old Pops out there having a wreck. And, uh, man, I tell you, he was doing such a good job up front up there. But who knows? They may be able to get that thing fixed over in the pits there, uh, Chris. And uh, he, old, Pops, uh, old Pops has always got a way of fooling you. Well, you know what? I believe there's a reset because he's uh, rolling away. Do you have a reset here? I am not sure. I am not sure, Chris. Could have one. Could oh. have three. Well, May if that's not the case, have any. <laughs> if that's the case, then that would fix the issue. Uh, the leader right now is the 28 of Tom McAllister. I'm still showing. Uh, but I think we got pit size. The uh, size more slaughter, blacker on the pit road. I'm just looking for the 28. As you see, the three and the 42 creek. And uh, Craig White, they're right here on the back straightaway right now. Everybody merging cleanly as we're just past halfway. They're, you know, at the 28 to 6, they're in a tandem up ahead here. They're pulled away. Yep, Tom up. McAllister, and uh, that would be Mike Costa. And here comes uh, the leaders to pit road, a good portion of them here. Looks like White, Ford, Creek, Lemaire, Kevin Carr, Wallace Boyce all going to come to pit road for their pit stop here. This will be the only pit stop they're going to need all night. And, That's uh, it. One will do. One will do it. And I tell you what, to answer the question again, just you asked just a few minutes ago, I do at least put one reset in these things just for benefit of the doubt. Uh, and the only reason we use those things is sometimes we have some issues on our starts and restarts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hate for anybody to get out here and race for 30-minute practice, 50-minute practice, and we can't make it to lap one before we end up crashing and, and burning. So, uh, But I tell you what, these guys are showing me that they can get it done and they're capable of getting this done without any reset. So there may be some changes later in the road. Never know. That's part of the adjustments in the lead oh, here. We got an accident right there on pit road. Number six of Mike Costa got into it with the, looks like the 55. What is that 55? Caution is out too. We have a caution on the track. That is the 55 of Carter Lawson. I'm, I'm trying to look and see what happened here. Looks like Carter Lawson got uh, coming out of turn four. Oh, it looks like uh, like our 88 of uh, Willie Blackard was on the bottom line there as they were coming around, and uh, it just uh, wasn't, there was nowhere for anyone to go. Uh, they, these guys were too wide when they came around the corner there, and uh, – they need to, they, they got to look for that, Chris. They got to look for that. They got to check up. I'm trying to get I'll you, you what, player, but the cameras are adjusted on me. <laughs> I don't know that's, de that's definitely going to change things up here this evening. That's going to, uh, everybody's got, all got fresh rubber. They've got f uh, filled up with fuel and, uh, we're going to be starting green again, and it looks like we're going to get about, uh, let's see, well, we go back, it's going to be about 30 laps, 
20 lap shootout. I tell you, man, it's going to be a strong race from this point on. Oh, I see what happens here. Willie just gets off the gas. This actually ends up being a big wreck. The 51 involved of Chrysler, the six involved, as you mentioned. But tell you what, the 88 was at about half speed or, or a slower speed. Oh, and the six drills, Carter Lawson, as he was trying to get the pit road there. Yes. Carter Lawson looks like he was there sideways. Uh, nowhere he could go, struck that sideways. He had bounced off the wall there. And uh, I tell you, I think he'd done the right thing, but just staying where he needed to stay and uh, try to get the truck going. Uh, but it uh, looked like Mike Costa got into him down there coming into pit road. Tell you, Mike Costa's got some bad luck with that. I've been in a couple servers with him, and uh, tell you, he's had a tough time uh, with some of the cars just being wrecked out on the track out of nowhere. And uh, poor old Mike, next thing you know, uh, Mike always finds him out there on the track. The first caution is out here at lap number 30. Nothing to hang your head on there. First caution at lap number 30. Absolutely. These guys have showed a lot of patience here this evening. A lot of good racing. Door to door, bumper to bumper action out here. Guys working with each other. Uh, teammates working with each other, lots of uh, leader changes here. I tell you, you saw a little bit of everything out here tonight, and uh, still, you know, we've only got one caution. Phenomenal. Uh, looking up here, and uh, Chuck Scallon right there behind the pace car. He is actually on the tail end of the lead lap. The leader is Craig White in the number three, I believe. Uh, this will get updated once they come across the start finish line here. But uh, this definitely is mixed things up with the green flag pit stops. And then the caution afterwards. We'll see here if anyone's going to come to pit road or not. But this is going to uh, set up a uh, really big shootout. Yes, it is. And i tell you what, I'm talking to one of the uh, uh, track admins out there. So give me just a second here, Chris. Not a problem, man. Of course, as you know, uh, you can go to ExtremeMotorsports99.com, check out their website, and uh, check out their schedule. Next week, the Atlanta Motor Speedway, uh, race number two on the schedule. Uh, as, as part of the deal with uh, Extreme Motorsports and for Races Only TV, we're airing ten races this year. Uh, this is the first of ten, and uh, we will not be airing next week's race live. I don't see be in the car. You'll see it streamed because I'll put the broadcast on the air as I'm in car, but uh, so you'll be able to see the action that way. But uh, we will not have the live broadcast. We will be up in the booth later on this season as uh, that schedule is yet to be determined. But uh, Craig White is the leader. Jeffrey hey, Creek is second. Uh, Kevin Ford third. Waltzenbach fourth. Nicholas Orth fifth. Now the 15 of uh, Chuck Scala, the 21 of Brian Coveney. They are on the tail end of the lead lap. And they should uh, get the lucky dog or the wave around as they get one to go. So they're going to be right back in this race. Yeah, I believe came out of pit road right when the caution came out. So, uh, you know, we go back and we talk about that incident with uh, Pops there, number 15. Um, looked like he got his truck fixed there. The pit crew done a real good job on it, got him back up and running. And uh, tell you, it looks like he don't have any damage at all. But that's when we go back and we talk about those resets. So he should be fine there. He'll get a wave around. Uh, but as far as a lucky dog, I believe Zach Kaiser may be our lucky dog uh, contender there. So, Rick, let's talk a little bit as we're under caution here for the first time. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the schedule uh, for both the Xfinity Series. You mentioned they started their series last night and the trucks. Uh, talk about the, the structure of the schedule, how many races, uh, when they're going to be racing, and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I tell you what, uh, looking over at the schedule, uh, Xfinity Series runs two nights a week. They run on Tuesdays and Thursday nights starting at 8 p.m. That's what practice time is. We practice for 30 minutes at 8.30. We get the guys together, get out on the track, they qualify, we have a driver's meeting, and then it's race time. Um, and that's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. These guys are looking at 24 races that will be done in 12 weeks. Truck series will run on Wednesday nights starting at 8 p.m. Practice, uh, of course, at 8 p.m., and then our qualifying starts at 8.30. Same thing. We get these guys out on the track at 8.30, we have a driver's meeting, and then we get them out on the track ready for race. Now, these guys are running one night a week, and uh, it's a 12-week schedule. What we're also doing, Chris, is uh, we will be developing our Cup Series throughout our season through our Xfinity Series. And uh, 
we have already got a five-man panel as a review board, and uh, we will put applications out where guys that are interested in joining that Cup Series uh, will have the opportunity to do a tryout. And we will take 20 guys into our Cup Series for the first season, and from that point on, anyone that wants to join the Cup Series has to earn their way into that Cup Series. That's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, definitely make sure you uh, get over to Extreme Motorsports 99 dot com and uh, just get ready it might be a little late to join the leagues but you know you could be a part of it you can watch it here uh, who knows you can even help out Rick with uh, admin the races but as I usually do Rick a uh, tradition of mine here on Races Only TV I give a chance to shout out some of the newer viewers who are watching tonight some names I might not recognize I'll throw those out there uh, B Slaughter 333 I wonder who that is Maybe Mr. Brad Slaughter watching and driving at the same time. <laughs> uh, Maniacs 27, the Mr. Bay Sick. Interesting name there. Aramus 287, uh, let's see, Awesome Bro 14, C. Caitlin 7, Uppermost King 02, Bullet 699, and Super Gamer QC. Some new viewer names that I just don't recognize on there. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Hit that follow button as uh, you will see the home here of Extreme Motorsports 99 here on Faraces Only TV. As you see the wave rounds going by, Pops. And the 21 of Brian Coveney will get the waiver on. Absolutely. And I tell you what, trying to find the uh, OSR guys here, definitely I'd like to get Kevin Ford in the uh, booth up here and talk to him just for a moment there, Chris. Whatever it says there. Hey, uh, Kevin Ford, uh, Rick Donathan up here in the booth. Have you got a copy? Yes, I sure do, Rick. How you doing, buddy? We're doing great. And I tell you, I would ask how you're doing, but you're looking good out there. How you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Uh, it's been a great night so far, and uh, just sitting in the hot seat here waiting for that final lap. Fantastic. Well, you think you've got something for these guys? You're going to be able to work it out and get it up front? Yeah, well, there's a lot of talent in here, I'll tell you that. I I, I believe so. I believe so. I Where, think I'm in a good spot here. Hopefully I can hold this for a while. Where do you want to be, Kevin, on a final lap? Do you want to be in the lead, or would you rather uh, be second or third? I'd rather, I'd rather be second or fourth, actually. All right. Kevin, good luck there in the 32, and maybe we'll see you in victory lane. Thank you very much, guys. Kevin Ford, number 32. I uh, just want to let the folks know out there, ranked second in the world in iRacing in the uh, – the, um, help me out here, Chris. The road the series. Road series, that's right, the road series, ranked second in the world. I need to get uh, Kevin uh, racing with uh, some of the road guys that I've got together. Absolutely. He loves the race. And I tell you what, not only on his off days in racing, I gave him a call up there uh, a few weeks ago and said, Kevin, what are you doing? He says, well, we're about to start flying and I'm getting my flight plans. I said, oh, I didn't mean to bother you. He says, no, no, it's simulation. We do simulation flight planning. So uh, they do sim, not only sim racing, but the uh, man flies jets too. So now we know how we get, he gets around here so fast. All right, 15 to go. <laughs> and as usual on restarts, let's go wide open. Absolutely. Tell you what, looking side by side there, Craig White and uh, Jeffrey Creek go in. Uh, tell you, Matthew Wasenbach looks like he's attached to the back bumper of uh, Jeffrey Creek there, but that 41 uh, is right there. Uh, Carl Brown there to help out Matt Wasenbach. It's going to be real interesting to see how this plays out. Ford pushing White up to the front. There you see it, the 42 on an outside. Jeffrey Creek trying to get it. And you see Ford in the 32 is going to push White, as you mentioned, up to the front of 27 of Orth, up there in the 19 of Nate Trito. We have not said his name other than going to pit road earlier. Nate Trito, phenomenal racer, not only on sim racing, but real life racing too. I understand he is a true champ. He knows how to get a car around a track pretty fast, let's just say, and definitely knows how to wheel these things around here. Uh, Nate Trito from another league, uh, I believe is, uh, he is uh, getting ready to clinch a title over there as champion for the season. So uh, interesting to see how he does. Very well. Uh, jo uh, very good job, I should say. I learned to speak English. Uh, but, uh, yeah, top five right now. White, Ford, Creek, Waltzenbach, and Orth. Trito, Sizemore, Carl Brown, Brad Slaughter, w uh, Wallace Boyce. Your top ten. A.J. Scarborough with an unscheduled pit stop at the five. Unfortunately, having some issues here. We have 14 laps to go, and that front pack is spreading out a little bit. It is. I tell you what, Ford knows how to get around the track fast. Craig knows what he's doing. I tell you what, you take that uh, uh, that chemistry there between those two, two, uh, two older, let's just say veteran guys of doing this stuff. Uh, these guys are, you're going to start seeing those guys smoke these trucks around the track. And uh, Jeffrey Creek, 
Don't forget about him. Uh, he, he's got enough up there to get, get caught up with those guys. But I tell you, he better start doing something real quick because back here toward the back behind him on his back door, you got some more team guys that are trying to sneak up up there on the back door. And the worst thing that's going to happen is 27. You see him already starting to suck up to him, though, is he's going to start getting hot there. Or uh, 32, I should say. Ford's going to get hot. And this pack is going to swallow them up when they break apart. So he just got to be prepared. For that. That's uh, unfortunately the common denominator hey. here when you break the pack. 19 in the 29 car, that's uh, Jaeger Racing uh, Group. I know that those guys are working together there. That is uh, Nate Trito and Matt Wozenbach. Those guys are working together there, wanting to try to get those trucks up front. And I uh, tell you, they're going to have to chase down these two up front. Up here, Craig White and uh, Kevin Ford, because those guys are not getting uh, letting up at all. You see the inside line starting to form up. Darren Sizemore has gotten slaughter there behind him. He's got Creek, he's got Trito. And that inside line has uh, formed up a little bit here. We got all but about five trucks in the lead pack here with a chance to win 12 laps to go. Hey, what, we're going to be coming around this lap here to make it lap 40. That means we've got 10 more laps before this thing ends here this evening. Oh. I tell you, you're going to start seeing some guys start making some moves. And i uh, tell you what, be on the lookout for a caution to come out what, there, Chris. We almost had a car, and Walters almost came together back there in the uh, mid part of the pack. Miller has prevailed. Walters got out of it. And, uh, they keep on going here. 11 laps to go. And by the way, a new leader. The th or, uh, not the same leader, Craig White, but we have an attempt for a new leader on the outside, Nicholas Orth. Nicholas Orth making it work out there with the 41. I believe that's going to be uh, Carl Brown. Working with Orth there. Orth is a uh, known champion in a couple series racing here on iRacing. He's done uh, phenomenal things. So uh, look for him uh, as a don't count him out yet. I tell you, it's just amazing, Chris, to see the 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 competition out here on the track and watching these guys race out here. It just makes me proud uh, to sit back and watch the racing that we're watching here this evening. Absolutely, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And again, remind you, next week they'll be racing at the Atlanta Motor Speedway in this truck series. Uh, and I'll be, I'll stream it, but I'll be in the car streaming as I'll uh, pull out the truck and put my gloves on and go out here and race with these guys and finish probably 25th. But we'll see. Uh, but it should be a lot of fun. And uh, make sure you. Uh, now, Chris, let me ask you. Okay. Have you took the training wheels off the car yet? Working on it. Working on it. Yeah, you haven't done it yet. No, not yet. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Well, let me just say this. Let me just say this out to the viewers here. I know Chris Scala is going to come up here and talk about how he's going to run in the back of the pack. Folks, if he's going to run in the back of the pack, it's only because he's saving his fuel, he's saving his tires, because this man knows how to run up front, and he knows how to run up front strong, and uh, don't let him fool you. He's fast out here on the track, too. Coming to nine laps to go. It's going to come down to it here. White, your leader, and, uh, well, almost a three wide air one truck. He's getting in the wall there. Who's going to make the first move here? As I mentioned, 20 trucks here at least with a chance to win this race. And I tell you what, I, there's still a coin being flipped in the air right now. I have no clue who's going to end up winning this race. Like you talked about earlier, Chris, do you want to be up front on lap uh, 49 or do you want to be second or third? You know, it, it just you just don't know where you exactly you want to be. You want to say you want to be up front with the competition level that you have out here, but you got to also think about those runs that you can get coming out of turn four on that last lap there. If I've you always, get a good run. I've always had a weird way of thinking. I like to be in front at five to go because nine times out of ten, you get a caution to five to go, the race is over. Now say it again. At five laps to go is when I like to be in the front because at that point, if a caution comes out, you're done. The race is over. You win. That's true. That's true. And I tell you, hopefully, hopefully, let's keep our fingers yeah, crossed. we don't want Chris. that to happen. No, we don't want that to happen. I know that every single one of these guys on the track right now, they want to see this race end under green. They don't want to see a caution come out. They want to see it run under green. And I think we're going to see that here today. We've got some smart drivers in here. Uh, you are going to probably see three a wide. little bit more aggressive driving. Three wide there on the back. Yeah, three wide. The four on the outside, that's William Amaker. William Amaker. As we got a new leader, the 27 of Orth has gone to the front. Oh, and they uh, look like they got it worked oh, out contact. there. Oh, oh contact. Oh, what truck in for the infield? 14, uh, the 14 the truck, I believe that's going to be Kevin Carr. I hope he's letting Looks off the like gas. He's oh, he's coming back up. How did they save that? Wow. Holy moly, you got to make sure that's on the replay reel. Don't oh, oh here we go. Two more trucks oh, together. Oh, three. Look, and they're hanging on. They're saving it. it. Look at there. Oh. 
Holy moly. Awesome driving out there, I tell you. Man, I tell you. You've got to be kidding wow. me. <laughs> the talent is out here on the track tonight. Look at that. These guys just uh, just drifted around the, uh, the corners there. Fourth, your leader. White in second, and the battle's on for third. That's the 97 to Darren Sizemore on the outside. But it looks like the 27 of Nicholas Orth did get the lead away. But now he's right there in front of Craig. Darren Sizemore coming up on the outside. Brad uh, Slaughter working with Darren. They're going to try to make some things work right here on this lap here, Chris. Six laps to go from Daytona, the first race. And the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Truck Series, who is going to take home that $15 from Dan uh, Daniel Eberhardt. A random driver is going to get 10 tonight just for finishing. I could see about 10 to 15 trucks who uh, want to win this uh, 15 bucks. Oh, absolutely. These guys are uh, just going to be uh, flipping out over that. Uh, it's not only to get the first win here tonight, but to be able to take some whole car cash. But I tell you, Darren Sizemore, Brad Slaughter working together there. Turn, coming out of turn four. Looks like they got a good run. Darren trying to get some of that side draft off of Craig there. Is he going to make the load? He's going to come up a little short. And Nick Ward's still going to lead that lap. And we're at five laps to go, so I can go ahead and say it from here. Next flag's going to end it. So we want to get Darren to the green now. Oh, Darren Sizemore left uh, Carl Brown out there in the open, but that's okay. Nate Trito right behind Carl. You'll see those guys start working with each other. William Amaker joining in with those guys. Looks like Amaker may have a little bit of damage on his front left. And the 97 getting a run to 33. The 19 cutting down. There's not room there. Oh, wow. What a move I'll by Ford. What. Kevin Ford didn't like that. As you can see, just a little bit of nudge on the back bumper, but the man knew how to drive it to give that nudge to let him know that uh, he's not going to forget about that. To the line, four to go, and Sizemore leads that lap. Sizemore pushed across the start-finish line there by Brad Slaughter. Those guys are really trying to make some things work. I tell you what, the intensity is starting to pick up here, Chris. Don't look now. Let's look back here at the back of the pack. Jeffrey Creek pushing to 23 of Jonathan Shipman. Two names we haven't said much of tonight. Here they come into the picture. Those guys trying to definitely get themselves working up up there down to about the last three laps here this evening. And I tell you, we've seen a phenomenal race so far. But I tell you, the uh, Nicholas Orr still getting that help from Craig there, going back and forth, leading the race here. Now, looks like Orr's got a little bit more over, but let's we'll see if the 97 of there gets the uh, draft here. Coming to three to go this time, but it's Orth at the line, oh. barely. Did Orth, win, did he lead that lap? He led that lap. By a foof. Oh, 0, 0.00, I don't even know if you call that two thousandths of a second. I'll call it a foof. <laughs> I call it close, super close. Lap 48. Craig White, Nicholas Orth working with each other outside on the back stretch. 97 of Darren Sizemore, Brad Slaughter working with him. But I'll tell you what, Jeffrey Creek back there working with Jonathan Shipman. Those guys starting to make some things work. And as you can see, the 25 and the 19, I believe the 25 is Doug, uh, Doug Blackman. Where did he come from? I, he just came out of nowhere. I guess when he got out of the garage, they fixed whatever was broke. He was uh, pretty much a lap down earlier. So here comes that outside line. Three wide as we Almost go down four the wide. straight away. Three wide as we go into turn one. Jeffrey Creek up on the high side. You've got uh, Sizemore in the middle, and you still got Nicholas Orth down on the bottom. These guys are holding their lines here. Craig White gets a little bit, uh, little bit loose there, but he's still able to hang on to it. Tell you what, a big factor about to play a role here. The 88 of Blacker is right up ahead here. And he, there's nowhere to go. Oh, gosh. Well, these guys are race car drivers, and they're going to have to let out of the gas or do something to get by. They're going to be coming to the white flag. If they get to the white, we're ending under green. If I'm blacker, I'm getting out of the way. I'm just moving to the apron and letting these guys go. Uh, that's just me. But here we go. White yeah. flag is out. Sizemore, your leader. Sizemore in the lead. That White Blackard flag moves. is out. Blackard has. Moved. Oh, and there goes the 33. Oh, we got Slaughter. This just got pushed out. Sizemore still in the lead. 
Jeffrey Creek working on the outside. Jonathan Shipman working with Jeffrey Creek. Sizemore has no partner. 27 of Nicholas Orth trying to work his way up there on the back straight. Who's going to be the first truck winner here at Daytona? We're about to find out. Shipman right there behind Creek in the 42. Doug Blackman making a move to get back on Sizemore's back bumper there as they're going to try to make something work here. Tell you what, Jeffrey Creek and... Uh, Jeffrey Creek and Jonathan Shipman going to make it work here. Shipman looking on the inside as he coming across the... Who's going to get it to the line? Jeffrey Creek wins at Daytona. Wow, what a race. Oh, oh and there's the junk. Up back here in the back. <laughs> there's yep, the junk. Miss... <laughs> wow, I tell you, Chris, what a race. What a race. Not bad Phenomenal. of a start. No, I tell you what... Uh, Man, I, I got to rewind this back and uh, take a look and see what happened to Brad back there, uh, back there toward the back. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see what exactly happened. Looks like he just got a little loose there. Oh, okay. He kind of got out of the line there, Chris, and... Uh, when he started to go on the outside there, it looks like uh, Orth got a bumper underneath him, and when he came back down, it just clipped his bumper there, and it seemed spinning. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. You see the wreck right there. What a way to finish this race, though. Only one caution in the end. Yeah, you get a junk at the end, but you know what? That was a pretty darn good race, I would say. Let's uh, we're get ready to talk to our drivers here. The top three we'll talk to. Uh, Jeffrey Creek heading to victory lane. He's probably out there cutting donuts right now. Yep, I'm trying to gather these drivers here together. Jeffrey Creek was 11 with three laps to go. Wow. It won this race. I need to find Jonathan Says. Jonathan... Jonathan Shipman. All right. Chris, I got our guys lined up. Uh, what, we want to talk to the uh, third place finisher, Darren Sizemore, first. Yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, we can talk with Darren Sizemore in the 97, a third place finish. Darren, let's be straight here. Was that one of the funnest races you've ever been a part of? Uh, I've got him in the room. Uh, oh. Let's hold on just a second okay. here. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your All home. right, there we go. We got Darren Sizemore here. Chris Scala up and Rick Donathan up in the booth. Uh, Darren, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Go ahead, Chris. Darren, I tell you what, man. Let's be honest here. Was that one of the best races you've ever been a part of? Sorry, guys. Uh, sound was really loud. What's going on? I was going to say, was that one of the funnest races you've ever been a part of? That was pretty uh, intense right up to the last lap there. Talk about uh, your race. You ran uh, mid-pack, worked your way up to the front, uh, led a few laps, uh, had a pretty good partnership going on there. I believe it was a 27 you were working with. Correct me if I'm wrong there, but uh, uh, talk about the racing out there. Uh, we was racing with uh, a 33 Brad Slaughter, actually. Um, it was just intense the whole time. Uh, we started in the back of the pack. We had to draft our way up to the front by pushing a bunch of cars. Uh, we had multiple teammates there. Uh, throughout the race and last lap uh, our spotter told us that we're clear but apparently uh, it didn't work out for him he got clipped Ricky you got anything for Darren I tell you what Darren a uh, wonderful driving out there I tell you you you, you showed patience out there uh, you made your moves you found the guys to work with you found uh, whoever as your dance partner and just want to say congratulations to you on that that third place finish there uh, phenomenal race and uh, I tell you you were in a, a room with uh, a lot of talented drivers here this evening anybody out there you want to thank uh, just Brad Slaughter my teammate he's the only reason we're up in the front there fantastic well we uh, hopefully we'll be talking to you soon and uh, we're going to let you get back to your celebration on your third place finish there. And uh, we're going to track down our second place finisher, Jonathan Shipman. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved to your channel. Tell you what, hopefully Jonathan. out there in the fans, you enjoyed that race. That's all I got to say about that is Jonathan Shipman has joined us. Go ahead, Rick. 
Jonathan Shipman, second place finish there. I tell you, you were working with Jeffrey Creek. Uh, things were looking really good out there on the track for you guys. Uh, saw you looking on the outside when you come out of turn four. Did you get the run, or do you just wanted to play it safe? I just wanted to play it safe. Uh, me and Jeffrey were <clears throat> pretty much loners, so uh, I was I wasn't really focused on winning. I just wanted to push him. That was all I was focused on. Um, and then on the last lap coming out of turn four, I was like, oh, I might as well try to get it, but I knew I didn't have enough momentum. So uh, I was just trying to play it safe. I knew the guys behind us were coming up pretty fast, so I was just trying to block the outside. Hey, what looking good out there. And, uh, you know, you may have been loners, but you found the right dance partner there, and uh, it showed here this evening. Uh, what do you think? One more lap. What could have happened? Um, uh, one more lap, I think we would have had the people behind us catch us, and <laughs> I probably would have blew my motor pushing Jeffrey, so. Wow, he's doing real hot. <laughs> Chris, what do you think? I was impressed, I mean, you guys were 11th and 12th with four laps to go, and I'm sitting there, like, about to go the three wide here, and you guys did it, and it's a credit to all 10 of you guys who were there to, to be able to hold your line three wide, and for you guys to go from 11th and 12th up to, to, to finishing first and second, that uh, definitely is a, an accomplishment on your part. Uh, how fun was it out there? Oh, with with five laps to go, me and <clears throat> me and Jeffrey, um, we just switched. So I was like, Jeffrey, find the hole, do something, because I'm not letting off. <laughs> and he was like, all right, I'm going to the outside. I was like, okay, let's go. And it was, it was unbelievable how we could go three wide for – however many laps we did i'm glad everybody held their own line and stuff like that normally sometimes it don't work but i'm glad it worked out and the inside group messed up a little bit i guess and it just gave us and we ran away with it so that was definitely the funnest race i've had all right well nice job jonathan send shout out to whoever you like to i'd like to send a shout out to my mom when my mom's watching <laughs> <laughs> mama shipman how you doing I tell you what, I'd like to say this, uh, Jonathan Shipman, uh, not only a hardcore racer here and finished second and accomplished that, but I tell you, wanted to just say a special thanks to Jeff, uh, I mean to, to Jonathan, uh, hardcore Marine Corps, and uh, we want to thank you for your service for our country, and uh, I hope you had a good time here tonight. Anybody you want to thank? Um, <clears throat> I want, I'd like to thank you and Chris for putting this on, and definitely you, Rick, for making this new league and you know, a bunch of good drivers together. Can't look forward to all the races we're going to be having, and really appreciate what all y'all do. Well, we appreciate what you do for our country, and uh, hey, um, Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. So, uh, Jonathan uh, Shipman finishing second, and uh, we're about to go to Victory Lane. And should we mention, by the way, Jeffrey Creek, fifteen dollars Richard tonight, winning uh, the race at Daytona, Rick. That's right. And i uh, tell you what, uh, Jeffrey Creek, uh, well-deserved, uh, like you said, a few laps into this. Uh, uh, what place did you say he was at, uh, Chris? He was Lap 11th with three laps to go. 11th with three laps to go. Jeffrey Creek, we've got you here in victory lane. He's got champagne all over him. He's excited. It seems excited. Jeffrey, uh, take us back through uh, the last two laps there. Oh, well, I was uh, lucky enough to pick up Jonathan Shipman. Neither one of us had a partner, so we partnered up sometime right after the restart, a couple laps after the restart. And uh, basically, I was pushing him a little bit, and uh, he just made the call to go ahead and switch and won. When we did, uh, basically, he told me he wasn't going to let up, just find a hole, and I ended up electing to go in that third lane as much as I could, and it just happened it worked out. Tell you what, you were showing a lot of muscle out there this evening, Jeff. And I tell you, we got quite a few viewers out there, and I think I've seen one or two out there jumping up and down for the 42 truck. Uh, we came here tonight knowing with the expectations of, of a lot of good drivers. Qualification, I believe we were one tenth off of each other, all the way down through 18th place. Uh, lots of talent out here on the track tonight, and uh, you definitely showed muscle here tonight. Yeah, I mean. I don't know if I had a lot of muscle. It's one of those, yeah, I look at this race, or Daytona, Talladega, any of these play races are kind of a toss-up. You know, it's, it's 
it's really about track position the last couple laps and who you're hooked up with and whether or not they're willing to push you to the win. But, yeah. Chris, I tell you what, talking about that last lap there, <laughs> Jonathan Shipman on his back bumper, uh, what do you think? That was wild. One more lap. Yeah, one more lap. Yeah, one more lap, and it, it could have been very interesting there because him and Shipman had that uh, pretty big lead there. But, Jeffrey, uh, first things first, $15. Richard, you win uh, $15. Thank you to Daniel Albert to uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and take that $15 and donate it to the league, to Rick, just to help fund a little bit of uh, the website and everything he does. Well, I tell you what, hey, that sounds great. Uh, uh, anybody out there you want to think there, Jeff? I know you probably got some friends and family out there watching tonight, and I'm sure they're rooting you on as you're celebrating here in Victory Lane. Uh, I'm sure you want to get some shout-outs out there while we're live on the air. Uh, really, I just got to thank Jonathan Shipman for pushing me and hooking up with me. Uh, I honestly, I got home kind of late. I went back and forth whether or not I was going to run the race because I didn't have a partner. So really all of it goes to him. And uh, i got to also thank my girlfriend for letting me play. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. It's good to have one of those sometimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jeffrey, congratulations on the win and uh, celebrating Victory Lane. It's uh, a victory at Daytona. What else can you And you're the first ever winner in the uh, Extreme Motor Sports 99.com Truck Series. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the broadcast. And thanks, Rick, for what you do. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll put you up in the top room as we uh, finish out here. Uh, tell you what, Chris, again, hopefully the viewers out there watch this amazing race that we had here today. Uh, I tell you, it was uh, definitely uh, one of the best races I have seen in quite some time. And not just as a lingo, league owner saying that, it's just the talent out there and the respect for the drivers that had it for each other out there. Things are just really uh, look really nice out there today. It was fun. Uh, 14 lead changes, one caution for four laps. That caution happening right at the end of the green flag pit stops. Uh, so uh, definitely a great race to be a part of. I know, Rick, you got to pick a $10 uh, random winner. We'll let you do that while I run through the uh, final finishing order tonight from Daytona. Again, Jeffrey Creek is your winner. Jonathan Shipman second. Darren Sizemore, Doug Blackman comes from the back to the front. Uh, Nicholas North fifth. Trato, Lambert Long, and Chrysler, your uh, top ten. As I hit the wrong button. There we go. Uh, Kevin Ford, 11th. Brown, 12th. Amaker, 13th. Brad, uh, Brett Sturgeon, I don't think I said his name all night, 14th. Shiplett, 15th. Coveney Pop's going to finish 17th. Uh, Chuck Scala there. 18th, Kevin Carr. Justin Walters, 19th. Tom McAllister led some laps, unfortunately, a 20th place finish for him. Charles Lemaire, 21st. Wallace Bo uh, Boyce, 22nd. Brad Slaughter, Jr., who had that wreck on the last lap, 23rd. Matthew Welsenbach, uh, 24th. Mike Costa, Willie Blacker, Carter Lawson, uh, Douglas Hess, and A.J. Scarborough, your 29 finishers in this race. Aaron Richard was uh, the admin tonight. We appreciate him doing what he did uh, this evening. And as we said, uh, it is time for the uh, $10 winner. Rick, do we have a uh, winner of that random money? Here's what we're going to do. I want to make sure this is on the air. We, it looks like we've had uh, 29 drivers in here tonight. I'm going to random.org where you're able to put in numbers, and you basically generate a number, and when that generates a number, that's going to be the number that it pulls. So right now I'm putting uh, first place is not – in this prize so i'm the minimum number i'm putting is two and the maximum number i'm putting is uh is going to be 29 um and as i put the number in now two through 29 whatever number comes out whoever the person it is that fell in that position will get the ten dollar prize award and that number will go to Whoever finished 19th place, Justin 19th Walters. 19th place, Justin, Justin Walters, Walters, your 19th place finisher, he will win $10 as he's probably jumping up and down while he's pissed off at the same time for finishing 19th. So congratulations <laughs> uh, to you, Justin, on that. And uh, tell you what, what a great race it was. Rick, final thoughts before we uh, take off. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, final thoughts that I've got is is that uh, phenomenal race here this evening. Um, you know, Chris, we, we, we're going to be doing a lot of other things here coming in the future, and uh, I hope the viewers stay tuned in, and uh, I hope these drivers continue throughout the rest of the season having the same respect for level that we saw tonight here on the track. And I want to say thank you, Chris. 
uh, for allowing me to be up in the booth with you tonight. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. People are uh, liking you uh, on the stream, which is definitely good. So we uh, definitely had fun. We'll get back together sometime in the near future. Again, we're still working the schedule out. I think after tonight's race, I'm going to cross Talladega off because I might have to run with the guys in that one. Uh, but uh, <laughs> a lot of fun out here. Make sure uh, you do uh, stay tuned. Uh, you can follow for Races Only TV on Facebook. Um, also, ExtremeMotorsports99.com. But what I'm going to do as we sign off, Rick, I'm going to play the last three, uh, four, three laps here uh, for everyone who just joined us to see how this finish was. Uh, but congratulations. <laughs> to uh, Jeffrey Creek. Rick, appreciate your time. And as a matter of fact, I should mention, we are going to be broadcasting in uh, about probably 45 minutes or so. we got another race uh, that uh, was run earlier this week that we're going to run from our friends over at Sim Racing Authority. So stick around for that if you want to watch some more fun racing coming up uh, from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. So uh, we'll have that coming up in about 45 minutes. Where we're going to shut the stream down for a little bit. Come on back, and we'll see you then. Rick, you, Rick thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank right. you, Chris. Absolutely. Congratulations, Jeffrey Thanks, Creek. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Right now, though, the last three laps here at Daytona. Enjoy it. It was uh, definitely a blast to uh, be a part of. There you have it. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Thanks for watching us on Faracers Only TV. Have a good one.